in this video we are going to look at how do we secure uh, custom transaction custom <coughs> tables at authorization groups first thing we need to do is uh, we need to look find out what authorization group uh, the table belongs to so for that we just go to transaction slash and sc16 <coughs> and then we can look at a td tat or we can if you want to look at individual tables go to slash and sc11 so we are in transaction sc11 now type in the table you want to see so let's say tddat display and then go to utilities table maintenance generator okay this is so it belongs to ss uh, authorization groups so let's say you want to change it to a different authorization group so go back to utilities assign auth group change so you can just click on what, what you want to pick uh, let's say user control let's save save so now we switch the auth group for one table so let's say your company <coughs> is looking for all the custom tables and then they want you to review whether they have been assigned to auth group or not uh, this is generally an audit uh, requirement that all custom table needs to belong to some kind of auth group and they needs to be controlled so for that what we need to do is we need to go to slash n sc11 sorry slash n sc16 so we use table tddat tddat so execute that this table has basically two options two options one is table name and then the authorization group so we just put the z star y star so basically all the custom tables in sap start with z or y so that's why we are using z star y star okay we cannot you cannot create uh, tables other than z or y if you are creating for custom tables so we execute that so that will give us what 251 entries so this shows us it's sort by this so this will show us all the entries which belong to x or y so if you look at anything which belongs to nc nc amp nc ampersand nc ampersand nc and ampersand is basically does not have an auth group so one of the things you need to discuss with the client and your functional team is which tables are sensitive and which are not sensitive and then decide what kind of auth group it needs to belong to. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.